Of course, North Korea is a black box in terms of information and statistics. Um, nobody really knows where the North Korean leader is at the moment. Um, the reports which come from the North Korean defectors uh, may or may not be reliable, and they lead to the um, story that uh, Kim Jong-un apparently had a, a surgery on his, card on his um, cardio system. What it means in the era of uh, coronavirus is nobody really knows, but it looks like uh, Kim Jong-un, um, Kim Jong-un's health is not perfect. Um, he, is a, he is a drinker, a smoker, um, much stress uh, is, has been taken during the nine years of his leadership, um, during which he tested a number of nuclear devices and uh, constant experimentation with um, ballistic missile technologies also um, put him at uh, constant risk. And I believe that North Koreans um, simply follow the uh, Korean Central News Agency um, silence. Nobody really knows. Maybe the great leader is pondering the new um, weapon system or uh, inspecting some secret sites in the North Korean mountains. Uh, even South Korean Ministry of Unification is uh, very lukewarm on the uh, reports about the allegedly grave illness of Kim Jong-un. So I think if it, something happened to him, it was probably an elective surgery. Uh, we know that his, young, his sister, younger sister, Kim Yo-jong, was appointed, the, appointed to the uh, standing committee of, of the Supreme People's Assembly. She is uh, also a member of the um, uh, political uh, bureau of the Korean Workers' Party. So it was all planned. I believe that um, the stability of North Korean regime is unquestionable. And um, there's not much to worry until uh, we know something uh, really uh, firm uh, coming from North Korean official uh, news uh, agency. So if we take as true these reports, there is still that concern that he could die at some point. How seismic a change would that be if he did die suddenly, especially at this time when we have such a global flux in international politics? Well, North Korea is an isolated country, uh, both from inside and outside. It's under sanctions. Its uh, uh, diplomatic links uh, also is not very widespread. Australia has diplomatic relations, but doesn't have an embassy there you know, in Pyongyang and no North Korean embassy here. So if, Kim, if something happens to Kim Jong-un, uh, I don't think that's going to affect uh, much of our relations with, with foreign countries. But South Korea is uh, certainly uh, concerned uh, because it, it's uh, technically a state of war with North Korea. The United States is poised to potential um, invasion any moment. The U.S., um, well, the Pentagon has the plan 5029. Um, uh, which is designed to act in case of instability in North Korea or regime change. Um, yeah, certainly there might be ramifications and uh, which might, uh, you know, tip the balance of terror on the Korean Peninsula. Uh, but there's um, uh, checks and balances uh, in the North Korean dictatorship as well. The number of relatives who potentially can step in, um, like his older brother, Kim Jong-chol, or even the uncle, um, Kim Jong-un's uncle, is still alive. He returned from um, his post um, as an ambassador to uh, Czech Republic uh, a few months ago. So the imperial blood, the dictatorship dynasty will survive. It doesn't matter what happens to Kim Jong-un. We did see yesterday, though, when these reports came out, uh, stock prices in South Korea plunge. There was a strong reaction from China. Just how much of an impact would this have on the region if there was to be a change of later in North Korea? I don't think that South Korean stock market would really react to a news from North Korea, un unconfirmed news from North Korea. Um, uh, North, South Korea is much more linked uh, to the global markets. It's an export-oriented economy. I think it's more uh, focused on what is happening in New York Stock Exchange with uh, oil prices uh, rather than um, the obscure situation in, uh, in the North Korean mountains. Yes, North Korea does have a handful of uh, nuclear devices. Uh, they do have the vehicles to deliver uh, the nuclear pay payload or warhead. Um, but uh, North Korea, South Koreans have been living in this uh, 
state of neither war nor peace uh, situation for the last 67 years since the armistice agreement which was signed uh, by the UN command, uh, People's Republic of China, and the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. So the war uh, is continuing, and that, that this is something what affects not just South Korea, but the whole region. And sooner or later it has to be addressed. And Donald Trump um, was very proactive in ending the war, uh, signing the sort of agreement with Kim Jong-un. And if something happens to Kim Jong-un, well, uh, there will be either another leader from the Kim's dynasty or an, a collective leadership which would be equally keen to uh, have a working relationship with the U.S. Um, and also good, uh, stable relationship with its immediate neighbors, uh, including South Korea, including China and Russia. It is interesting to see we haven't seen a strong reaction from President Trump yet. He's really hanging his hat on uh, his foreign credentials in dealing with North Korea as one of his successes of his term so far and heading into the next election. Do you think that uh, this will be more of an issue if, for him if we do see Kim Jong-un uh, pass away about rebuilding that relationship with North Korea and uh, continuing to be able to claim that as a victory? Well, it's an election year for President Trump um, and um, his some kind of breakthrough in, on the North Korean front uh, make uh, or break uh, the progress for his uh, second term. Um, there were rumors that President Trump apparently uh, received a, a very good note from his friend Kim Jong-un a few days ago. Um, perhaps it was a note of uh, recovery that if Kim Jong-un, he probably maintains the channel of communication with the White House. Uh, I believe that um, Donald Trump would uh, welcome another summit um, if there is something to discuss. And uh, Kim Jong-un is um, probably, if, if, if health, his health permits, uh, would be willing to travel again and meet with uh, U.S. president uh, before the election, boost his uh, uh, support domestically and internationally and if uh, some concessions are given to North Korea in terms of uh, sanctions, economic lifting of economic uh, ban, uh, trade ban with North Korea and also diplomatic recognition, there's no diplomatic relations between Washington and Pyongyang that would be welcome both in Pyongyang and potentially Washington if um, North Korea promises to freeze its nuclear and ballistic missile programs, it will be applauded everywhere in the world.